Hi and welcome to another Type with me. Today I'm going to talk about TypeScript and native ESM in Node.js. Are you with me? Well, let's go and see how we can do this. So I have already made for you some kind of uh, TypeScript uh, module, right? So we have here our package.json where we have already certain things installed here. And we have also our index.ts. Well, if you're going to create a library that other one, other people are going to use, it's always better to have some source folder in it, right? And then here I'm going to create or rename it to main.ts. I'm going to put it into the source folder, uh, move, and then here I'm just going to create something like export const start equals. Then we are using a narrow function and I'm going to do something like console log it's been started. I know it's very basic but for this tutorial it's important to keep it yeah, very basic and then explain how we can export it and and use it within Node.js, right? So if you go to uh, tsconfig.json, you will see here that we have our root directory and that's source, right? And that's our source directory where all our TypeScript files are in. Then we have our output folder, which will be the dist folder there. Then we have our target ES2020. Of course, uh, ES6 and ES2015 has also very basic ESM support, but um, we need some features for from ECMAScript 2020, so we put it there. Also, our library needs to be ECMAScript 2020 and our DOM, because we need things from that as well. So ECMAScript 2020 gives us support for dynamic imports. And yeah, that's important, right? So then we can use import.meta. So it's something that's, that we really need to go forward. So um, and also allow synthetic default imports. So allow import X from Y when module doesn't have a default export. Quite good, right? And we also have declaration to true because we also need to have .d.ts files. You're never going to publish your source uh, files towards npm. You're always going to uh, publish your dist folder, right? So for ES modules, Node.js needs to have .mgs files, but yeah, TypeScript doesn't um, generate .mgs files, right? So we need to adjust our package.json. How do we do that? Well, like you see here, we doesn't we don't have a type. So we need to add it right here. And we need to say that our type needs to be module. Yeah, by default, it's common JS, like you see right here, but we need to have module. So that's Node.js knows that we are using yes modules. So if we are going to use this functionality in another Node.js application, for example, index.js, right? Then you will see that um, we need to do something like this start and then my package, which in this case is y, right? Uh, slash dist slash source slash uh, main.js. Um, so that's a possibility to do so. Of course, start is a method, right? And then we can work further on. But this is not very very nice, right? What we want to do is something like this. We want to have a Y here and we want to import start from Y, right? So to improve this, we can just go to our package.json and then of course we need to address our main field. So in this case, we need to say, okay, our main is in this source main.js, right? And our exports are in this slash source slash main dot yes. And that's very important so that we can just use our package name and that's it. 
So one thing that I still need to talk about is um, our TS config. In our TS config, I have something like skip lib check, and that's just that your external libraries don't need to be checked uh, for yeah, TypeScript errors. Sometimes it can be handy because then you get sometimes weird errors about node underscore modules where you say eh, what is this and so for for some reasons you yeah you don't need that so if we now build our package you'll see here that we have something like index.js index.js.map main.d.ts main.js main.js map so of course that's because these are still old things that we don't need, so we can remove them. So we only have this one, right? We have here our declaration of our start method. We have here our start method itself. And then of course we have our map from our source maps, right? So still, it's important to say that yeah, it's in our dist folder, so I think yeah we don't have source right here, so I can remove that one. Also here, I can remove that one. And actually, this is a little bit better, because if you have more files than, than main.js, you can do it like this, right? Again, it's a little bit puzzling there, because yeah sometimes people are just do, uh, having a folder here, TypeScript, and then they have source, and then you have main.ts, and then maybe source will also be uh, executed right here. But for me, it's it's nicer to just have all your files in your dist folder because that's the one that you're gonna distribute, right? And this to distribute. You get why it's called dist, right? Uh, but um, in in that case, it's just uh, a great thing to do. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you yeah are eager to. Uh, start your own um, TypeScript uh, application slash library, right? And that you can use this one to just publish your library towards NPM and use the power of TypeScript. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, happy New Year for everyone, because it's the first video of 2020. Two. and let's make from this year a great year thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you soon